In this how-to, we're going to show you a throw, and we're going to have Victoria Ford do it. And uh, for a throw and a block, we're actually going to choose a fighting uh, punch A. And you guys can see that here. Now, to uh, with that volleyball in our hand, starting at the beginning, and as you see, there's not a lot of room for it so we're going to adjust it by clicking on this go into keyframe mode and we want to go to level one to do edits and uh, make sure we're at the very beginning and we're going to just grab our hand and move it drag it and that's probably about right and we want to keep that edit until she starts moving it away, and that looks pretty good. So we're going to click the plus key, add key, and uh, that'll duplicate what we did here. And then we just want to fade it out. And it looks like she starts moving her hand really fast, so we don't need to. We can put our zero key. That blends that out and just a few frames after, and that will work. So let's go back to base, get out of keyframe mode. And let's go back to the very beginning, and let's move that uh, volleyball into position. I think I want to show it more from the front, so let's get that hand so I can at least see the thumb. Just a little. There we go. I like that. Ah, maybe a little more. Alright. A little penetration there, but should be fine. And uh, where we're going to use the View Tabs Animate 2 Constraints, add a parent constraint, and our source will be... I'm sure you get the right character, but we only have one, so it's fine. Victoria 4, right hand. And our target is the volleyball. And we want to go ahead and just turn it on. I probably should name this throw. And now that volleyball is parented to the hand. And we're going to look at this from the side, but I'm guessing we want to have it let go right there. So let's either here or here. I'm going to say a little early. So turn it off. And uh, what we're going to do is use this tool and use um, world coordinates. So we can translate this uh, universal, using the universal manipulator, uh, translating world co coordinates so we can get it straight down the z-axis. And let's go ahead and turn on studio key so we can see the keyframes for that ball. You'll notice that it's flung around and we need to get it moving. So we did that at frame 23. So let's go to frame 3 and get some movement. And uh, probably needs a little height on that. She gave it some arc. So let's go to frame 13. 10 later. Some more. Actually, let's give it a little more height. Oh, there we go. A little more height. Let's close this so we can see more. And, uh, oh, I don't want that. Frame 20, 
33. Doing it in intervals of 10. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. For me, I'd want a shot more like this so we could see it hit us. Before I go in and edit the hand, but there she is releasing it. And that's coming straight for us. And smack. There you go.